Let me know, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. You literally can't, this video isn't live. Uh, okay. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a trying out some new makeup video. I got a PR package that Heaven help me, if, if, if it isn't one of the most absolutely beautiful things I've ever seen, I would say of any makeup collection that has probably launched in the last year, this is probably the one I'm the most excited for. It is perfection. I showed it on my Instagram stories. If you know, you know. It is so stunning and I am so excited to play with this collection today. It is a rare day that makeup makes me feel the way that this collection made me feel. It feels so well thought out. The colors are unreal and the packaging Stop. So I'm gonna be playing with this collection. I have no idea what look I wanna do, but I know which palette I wanna use. And I am like, I'm also gonna show you guys how I got this sleek hairstyle. I'm partnering up with Amika today to talk to you guys about their smooth operator set. You buy it at Sephora. And in there is a hair dryer and a straightening brush. It's not a straightening iron, it's a brush. So easy to use. I'm gonna show you guys how I did this look with it today. It literally took like five minutes. It also comes with a dry conditioner, anti-humidity spray, and dry shampoo. It cost $120, but it's a $210 value. So you're saving $90 by buying the kit. I took a shower this morning, I put it up up in a clip and then I took it down and then it was all sort of crimpy and all over the place. I just dried it really quick with the hair dryer. Then I'm using the Polished Perfection Straightening Brush. If you guys have curly hair or you want super smooth straightened hair and you don't love the fact of how long it takes to straighten your hair, you may really love this because it is fast. Like for me at least, I have very straight hair generally, but today it was like really out of control and very frizzy because I had had it up all day and it just air dried. But it is like super quick. Literally just brush your hair. My hair gets oily really fast, so I did throw a quick spray of the dry shampoo in my hair. This is super fast. If you have curly hair or you want to just have that sleek straight look, but you don't want to whip out your straightener because it takes too long, I would say this kit would be best for somebody in that situation. I usually am more of like a wavy or curly hair person, so that's usually what I go for. On days like today where I just want to quick get ready, then it is perfect for that. If you guys are interested in checking out the Amika Smooth Operator set, or if you're looking for a gift for somebody for Christmas and you think that they would like it, I'll have the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much to Amika for sponsoring the beginning portion of this video. And now we're going to move on to the most beautiful collection I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the collection. It is from Melt Cosmetics. I was watching the videos from Pontberry or Fernanda and she was at the event for Melt and she did the most beautiful makeup I swear I've ever seen. It was so stunning. I will show you here if I can. And she did the makeup based on this. This is the PR package right here. And these are both the palettes actually. They have the half face and they are so stunning. The colors on the outside are the colors that are in the palette. I am not kidding. I cannot handle the beauty of this. I'm gonna read you the card in here because I think it's really important to know why this collection was made and it is so stunning. It comes with two eyeshadow palettes in here. It also comes with these cream gel liners, three lip products, a highlighter, and some brushes and everything is very themed. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys everything a little bit more up close in just a minute. Let me just, let me just read. A letter from our founder and CEO, Laura Ariano. I am so excited to share the most special collection we've made yet. Being first generation, Mexican-American, I feel so lucky to have been able to grow up with the chance to see firsthand where dreams and hard work can take you. My parents came to the United States with dreams of a better life for our family. Some of my best memories are from our trips to my parents' hometown in Michoacan, Mexico, and the experiences during our stay. I remember being so impressed by all the hand-laid cobblestone streets and the colorful cut paper strung across from house to house. The way stranger waves goodbye just makes you feel welcome, and walking past bright-colored homes to stop by my grandmother's for some coffee and sweet bread. Going to the candy store, obsessing over the hot pink, lime, and marigold array of candies, hanging out at the square, listening to good music, eating delicious food, and waiting for the fireworks at the end of the party. Sitting with my grandfather while he tended to his animals also taught me compassion and love for animals. I learned what courage was, witnessing my parents juggle work while raising us in a place that was foreign to them. I feel that every decision I make when it comes to both my artistry and business are constantly influenced by the rich hues and vivid colors from the memories of my childhood, my life experiences, and the beauty I see in everything that surrounds me now. 
hope when you see this collection, you get to see snippets of the beauty I see in my culture every day and the vibrant colors, textures, attention to detail, everything we poured our heart into. I couldn't do it without the support of my partner, Dana. We couldn't do it without our wonderful team. We wouldn't be here without our wonderful Melt fam. And although some of the people that have made me who I am today are no longer with me, my memories are here forever. Wow, what a wonderful collection. And I will show you everything that's in it. When you see the inside of this palette, you are about to be shook. Absolutely shook to your core. It's so stunning. Okay, so obviously the outer PR packaging is stunning beyond belief. It is so, so, so beautiful. So well thought out. These are the two palettes right here. We have Vida and Muerte. And I am going to open it up and let's see. So I will show you Vida first. Vida is a beautiful palette. The other is my absolute, it's probably my favorite palette I've ever seen. This is what the outside of the palette looks like. When you open it up, oh my god it is unreal the colors are so vibrant i can't even tell you how much i love them there are a very good amount of mattes versus shimmers which at times melt palettes can feel a little bit uneven in the mattes to shimmers department not these they feel very balanced in the right way stunning in every way so this is the vida palette so this is the other palette and i cannot are you guys ready? Because I don't think you are. Look at this packaging, first of all, but look at the inside. Look, oh my God. The way these colors complement each other could make me cry right in this very moment. I cannot even begin to explain how beautiful this is to me. I don't know why this speaks to me in such a deep way. It's the most beautiful palette I think I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know if you guys agree. The way that the reds and the blues look together, they are so rich and so deep and I can't even handle how stunning this is. Maybe, maybe I could use one on each eye. Maybe we could test it that way. Let's do that. Look at this packaging. The attention to detail on literally everything. It could not be better if you ask me. It couldn't be better. And it's actually, look, oh my gosh, it's so stunning. So these are little cream gel eyeliners, I think. And this is the first color. Okay, stunning, beautiful, perfect in every way, shape, and form. I am in love. Oh, wow, look at that one. Oh, the colors, just the way everything is so vibrant. Oh my gosh, and deep, it has like this richness to it. Oh wow, this one is uh, like a very deep green, stunning, and a black, which is perfect. I've never tried these from Melt before. I've heard they're really good, so I'm really excited to give them a go. I'm not sure if this is Melt's first time ever releasing brushes, but these look really, really nice. So I'm going to be using these today for my look. And as you can tell, there are a bunch of eye brushes here, which we've got some fluffy blending brushes. We've got a more precise pencil brush. This flat guy, which I love, this is very similar to like the Sigma, I think it's E15. And then this one is a little liner brush. And then we've got this, which maybe is meant to be the highlighter brush. These are beautiful and they have that same detailing on the handle. I don't know if you guys can tell. They also sent three lip colors and look at the packaging. Look how stunning. Wow. And then this is the highlighter and the packaging. I just, I can't even handle it. Look at that. Not only just the packaging, but look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> So unbelievably stunning, I, I can't. Obviously I already have my foundation done. I have my brows on because I didn't want to even worry about any of that in this video. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the one that just makes me feel some kind of way. And I am going to put that on my right eye, I believe, because that's the eye that generally does a little bit better. It's so beautiful that I don't want to even touch it. You know what I mean? I don't even want to dip a brush into it because it's so perfect and I don't know what to do with it. Let me know, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. You literally can't, this video isn't live. This is the 87 brush and I am going to go in with this. This color is absolutely sending me right now. So I need to dip into this. So I'm not very good at my pronunciation yet. So I'm just going to point at the colors. So I'm going to go into this shade here. I'm just throwing that into the crease right here up towards the front. These are so unbelievably pigmented. I'm gonna go with this little pencil brush next and I'm gonna dip into this shade here. I'm just gonna tap that in the crease just to make it even deeper. Oh. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay, maybe I will go into just a teeny little bit of this shade just just to kind of buff out the edges a tad 
that was the right choice. That really was. What do I do? I want to do red on the bottom. Do I keep it blue to the top and red on the bottom? <laughs> I think I do. Okay, so I'm gonna dip into this shade more for the outer portion. I didn't think I would love this little pencil brush, but it's really working well because you can really pack that shadow on where you want it and then blend out the edges. I'm gonna take that biggest fluffy brush. This is the 818. Use my little color switch on it to get most of the color off. And then I'm gonna dip into this shade again, just to kind of buff out the very edges. Make it very blended. Taking a bit of concealer and I'm just going to cut the crease a bit. I don't know exactly how I want to cut it. I don't feel like I want to do like a super winged out. I do want to add a wing, I think, but I don't want to do like a super winged out cut crease. Maybe I will take a bit of this shade right here and put that in the center of my lid. I'm gonna take a bit of this shade here. Just wanted to put a little bit of a colorful base down first so that it wasn't this shade on top of just like concealer. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade. Oh my God, stop it. And I'm gonna go with that little detail brush, the number 96. Ooh, this is very creamy, way soft. Like, I don't know if you guys can see as I'm dipping into it, like barely touching it. It's just so soft. That'll be nice. You'll know it'll glide on really easily because of that. As I suspected, easy to work with. You could do this as a base down too, if you wanted to, all over your eyelid, and then pat some of the other shades on top of it. It's a little more sheer than I would have thought, and maybe it's just this little brush. It looks super, super shimmery in the jar, and then when you put it on your eyes, it looks a little less glittery, almost. It does like apply very easily, and it does come off shimmery on camera. In person, it just kind of looks more matte, if I'm being honest. I might have to just go a little bit thicker with it, because when I do that, that seems to be where you get the majority of the shimmer. I wanna take this little 517 brush again, and I wanna go in with more of that very deepest dark blue and just really deepen up cat hair. I don't wanna deepen up cat hair, but I do wanna deepen the up the eye look. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take all three of these shades. I'm gonna start with this one and then I'm gonna deepen up as I go. I'm gonna really blow it out, low down on this eye. So I'm gonna start with the biggest brush. You'd think you would start with the smallest, but for me, I wanna like start with the shade that I want to be low down almost, like the most blended out. And that's gonna be Corazon. Oh my gosh, I just love this so much. All right, My Chemical Romance, Reunited, Gerard Way. Step aside. But then I wanna take, this is a Morphe brush and this is the M456. I'm gonna take the shade right next to that and really deepen up here. This one is more of like a purpley red, so it takes away that like super fieriness. And then the one right next to that, the deepest shade right at the base. Maybe intense for some of you, but not me. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna take that lightest like whitey gold shade. I'm gonna tap that right there. Question, do I do a teal on the bottom or a red? And I think I wanna go teal with the liner. I would do like a really cobalt color there, but I think that since we have the cobalt right here, a really bright teal would be fun. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This is in the shade Zulu. This is a little bit intense. You know what? It's just makeup. <laughs> 
All right, so that's where I think I'm gonna take this eye. Once we put lashes on, it will all come together, I think, I think. All right, now let's move on to the next palette. This one performed beautifully. The colors seemed to just blend beautifully together. No issues at all. I didn't have any problems. So this next one is the Vida. And this one, oof, this is gonna be hard to choose. Let's just go, baby. So maybe I'll do like a sunsetty eye on this one and we'll do red in the crease, blending out with a little orange and then a little bit of that green. I'm gonna start off with this shade here, Mexicana. I'm gonna take it on this little Morphe M456 and I'm going to place that in the crease. I'm gonna darken up that red real quick, just right in the crease, cause it's just a little understated. All right, now I'm gonna take some of this shade here, Soul, and I'm gonna take it on that same brush and just kind of sweep that on the outer portion. Similar eye shape for this look, just different colors. Maybe I'll do the same thing, but on this side, I'll have green. Yeah, I'll have the top be like the oranges with that yellow liner, and then I'll have like a green smoked out on the bottom. That'd be fun. I do think I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade chocolate here in the center, and I'm going to deepen up that red with it a little bit, which makes it almost look like a really deep maroony red. I'm gonna do the same cut crease as I did on the other side, on this side, because I wanna throw that other shade on there. Not perfect, but that's okay. I'm gonna take some of this shade right here, and I'm going to tap that. Ooh, that is fiery. It's like neon. I'm gonna take that same brush that I cut the crease with and tap a little bit of that on there so I can get the edges. So now I'm gonna go with this shade. Oh, wow. I do have one critique for the brushes. I do wish the tip of this was just a little bit longer. It feels a little bit short to me. Oh, this shade is stunning. You won't be able to see it very well over this. You will over the end, like down here, but it is like the most beautiful mustardy. Oh, it's gorge. I could see me just using this as a base on my eyes. This would pair beautifully with the Melt Gemini palette, which you guys know is like one of my ultimate faves. I love that. That looks so fun. Now for my lower lashes, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. All right, and then I'm gonna dip into the shade directly next to that right here. Those are neon. Wow, look at that. And then I'm gonna dip into a little bit of this shade. Take that right up to the bottom. Take a little bit of that most neon-y yellow green and sort of tap it up at the top. Now I need some liner on this side. So I'm gonna take this shade actually, which is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Punch. And it's like this really vibrant, vibrant yellow. Now I'm gonna go throw some lashes and mascara on and we will be right back. <sighs> All right, lashes and mascaras on. Love them both so much. I don't know which one I like more. You guys have to let me know which look you like more, which you're more likely to wear. This one's just so vibrant that it's like sending me. This one, so deep and so mm, luscious. Okay, now it's time to go into highlighter. So I'm gonna take the highlighter here and this shade looks to be a duochrome. It seems, um, it looks like it goes from like a shift of a gold to a pink. So let's see how this works. These are the digital dust highlighters, I believe is what they're called. And I have had issues with them in the past, not being as perfect as I love them to be, like not as shimmery as I want them to be. So I think, that, I don't know, I, I struggle sometimes with this formula being my favorite. It's not quite my favorite. So this isn't a shade I would typically go for all the time. It's very, very pink. It is beautiful though, beautiful. My skin looks terrible right now. 
I don't know why. It's so dry. That does look pretty actually. It's just not one that I think I would reach for every day. It's a little more unnatural color, but it kind of goes with each look if I'm being honest. Like it totally goes with that. And it'll go with this too. Hmm. This is looking nice and glowy actually. Initially I was thinking it wasn't going to because I don't know, I recall the other ones not being so great. I did my bronzer off camera, so it's not just like a blank canvas. That looks really pretty. I like that. Melt does a lot of liquid lipsticks and I'm not a huge fan if I'm being honest. Like it's not that I'm not a huge fan of melt liquid lipsticks. I'm not a fan of liquid lipsticks in general. The packaging on these is absolutely stunning. And if you see a color that you really like, I would say the formula is very standard for a liquid lipstick. It's not like hideously dry or uncomfortable or anything. I don't know. I'd say the one that most goes with both of them would be this one maybe. I'm not really feeling any of them that much. This one is Fiesta is the color. I'm gonna do like my typical lip, you know how I do. <gasps> that is pink. Okay, that is the most pigmented pink ever on the history of pinks. I'm gonna kind of like dab off a little bit of that. I'm doing what I typically do. You, know, you guys know, just blending out the edges a bit. Take my brush and I'm gonna take some gloss. All right, my friends, and this is the finished looks. All right, you guys, and this is the finished look with the collection. Let me give you my final rundown. I think it is beautiful. The colors blended beautifully. They are so rich, so saturated, so pigmented. Unbelievable, frankly unbelievable. I can't believe how stunning and how vibrant and how well thought out each palette is. They couldn't have done a better job. They could not have done a better job. At times with certain melt palettes, like the Smoke Sessions palette, that one I had a lot of critique on. I will link the video that I did for it up here, but that one I had critique on because it, it was too many shimmers for me and I felt like I couldn't create the most cohesive look with it. But these, hands down, Melt's best palettes yet. Gemini is one of my favorite palettes and I've used it probably more than almost any of my other palettes. It is so, so, so stunning. I really love the mustardy side of the palette the most. I mean, I love the green as well, but I get way less use out of that side. The mustardy side though, <gasps> heaven help me if it's not one of the most beautiful. I think that they absolutely nailed it. The highlighter is actually really pretty on the skin. It's not one, like I said, that I'm gonna reach for every day. The lip products are also ones I wouldn't reach for every day. However, they are really beautiful. Like at the end of the day, this is a very vibrant, pink this is a really vibrant purple and a really vibrant orange so if you're into orange lips which i am especially in the summertime i will absolutely be reaching for this because sometimes especially when i'm wearing like an orange lip like that sometimes i like to do a liquid lipstick and then put a gloss over the top so it lasts really well. Sometimes you can also, this was like a trick that I used to do all the time, was I would do a liquid lipstick base and then I would put a lipstick over the top and then a gloss over that and that's not going anywhere. I don't like the look of a liquid lipstick really on me that much. It's like, they're very drying and matte and that's just not how I like it because I got these non-lips. The collection in general couldn't be better. I actually really enjoy the brushes as well. This is my favorite kind of handle where it tapers smaller. I love it, very comfortable to hold. I love the detailing on there. Very nice brushes. I There's really no critique I could give on them. I feel like that one brush that was really tiny, like I said, could use to be a little bit longer because it's a little bit short stroke, but at the end of the day, it created a really beautiful eye look. These are awesome. Love these so much. This is the color of my dreams. This is like one of my favorite colors of all time. This like deep brownie mustardy burnt color. Oh my God, I love it so much. I didn't get a chance to try the black or the green. I definitely will in the future. These both though performed great. They look awesome. And this does look shimmery. It did take a little bit of layering to get to full shimmer. So just keep that in mind, but it is stunning, vibrant, gorgeous, amazing. Cannot complain about anything in the collection. Melt hands down, my favorite collection you've ever done. And you should be so proud of this. If you guys are interested in picking it up, I'm gonna have everything linked in the description of this video. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. The colors are very saturated. I think they would work on a variety of skin tones as well because they are so deep, but also the ones that are bright are so bright. I feel like they would pack such a punch. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Does this collection do for you what it does for me? The colors, they could not have paired better colors together. Truly melt, you killed it. I'm sorry, I, I am raving about this right now because it is a rare day 
that a collection feels as well thought out to me as this one feels. This is what I'm talking about. When brands launch things, this is what I'm talking about. This is how to do a launch. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like the two makeup looks I was able to create. And also thank you so much again to Amika for partnering with me on this video. And I thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe if you have not yet. And I will see you at my next video. Bye. I will show you. Slow down. Oh, oh, I feel. I think I'm gonna go in with this brush here. Hello? Stop. Am I orange? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I am. Come on, drive away. Cat hair. What am I hearing? I'm literally hearing something that sounds like a mouse or... Are you cooking? Yeah. Oh, is that the noise I'm hearing? It sounds like um, crackling or splattering or... It is. Up here, it sounds like there's a mouse crawling through the walls. That's what that sounds like up here. I kept stopping and thinking it was like a mouse or something. I am so orange. So, I am so... So orange. Still orange. I'm still orange? Yeah. Um, hello? I'm orange again. I really don't know what's happening. What just happened? I just literally threw that at my face. Okay. Jeez. Okay, I've never used this. Am I orange again? Oh my God, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay. And now I am going to go throw some liner. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, okay. Love them.